Look at this reptile. Is it a crocodile or an alligator? You've probably heard the terms used interchangeably, and to many people, they're basically the same. But what if I told you these two creatures, while similar, are quite different? And it's not hard to tell them apart once you know what to look for. Today, we'll clear up the confusion between crocodiles and alligators and explore what makes them unique. First things first, why do people confuse crocodiles and alligators so often? It comes down to a few key reasons. Their similar appearances, overlapping habits, and the way they're portrayed in pop culture. All right, let's break down the key physical differences between crocodiles and alligators. If you've ever looked at one of these reptiles and thought they looked identical, you're not alone. But the truth is, there are a few major features that set them apart. Once you know what to look for, it becomes surprisingly easy to tell which one you're looking at. The first and most obvious difference is their snout shape. Alligators have a snout that's broad, wide, and rounded at the tip, almost like a shovel. Think of it as a U-shape. It's not just for looks. This snout design gives alligators an edge when it comes to brute force. Their powerful jaws are perfectly built for crushing hard-shelled prey like turtles or breaking down through thick bones. That U-shaped snout is like nature's ultimate nutcracker. Crocodiles, on the other hand, have a snout that's narrow and pointed, a sharp V-shape. It's slimmer and more streamlined, almost like an arrowhead. Unlike alligators, crocodiles aren't as specialized for crushing hard prey. Instead, their pointed snouts give them precision, which is ideal for catching slippery fish or smaller animals. This difference in snout shape is one of the easiest ways to tell them apart. So next time you see a big reptile, think U-shaped for alligators, V-shaped for crocodiles. Now, let's talk about teeth, because their smiles can reveal a lot. If you ever get close enough to see their mouths, hopefully from a safe distance, take a look at how their teeth line up. Alligators have a sort of clean smile. When their mouths are closed, you'll only see the upper teeth. That's because their upper jaw is wider than the lower one, which hides most of the bottom teeth. It's almost like the alligator is tucking in its lower jaw, keeping its teeth neat and tidy. Crocodiles, though, are not so shy about showing off their chompers. Their upper and lower jaws are about the same size, so their teeth interlock when their mouths are shut. This creates a very distinct look. You'll see both rows of teeth, and one tooth in particular stands out. That fourth tooth on the crocodile's lower jaw sticks up over its upper lip, almost like a crooked snaggle tooth. It's a bit menacing, and it's a dead giveaway that you're looking at a crocodile. So, if it looks like the reptile is flashing you a toothy grin, it's probably a crocodile. Now, let's move on to size, because when it comes to these animals, bigger is always more intimidating. Alligators are certainly no small creatures. Adult males typically grow between 10 and 14 feet long, with some of the largest individuals tipping the scales at over 1,000 pounds. Now that's like having a full-grown grand piano lurking in the water. It's impressive, but crocodiles take things to a whole new level. The saltwater crocodile, for example, is the undisputed giant of the reptile world. These monsters can reach lengths of up to 23 feet and weigh over 2,000 pounds. That's almost double the size of a big alligator. Not all crocodiles are this massive, of course. Size depends on the species. But as a general rule, crocodiles tend to grow larger than alligators. If you're ever comparing the two and one of them looks like it could take down a small boat, you're probably looking at a crocodile. There's one last detail to keep in mind. The overall shape of their heads. Alligators have heads that are wider and rounder, matching that U-shaped snout. Their eyes sit high on their heads, almost like tiny periscopes. This allows them to float almost completely submerged, with just their eyes and nostrils breaking the surface. It's the perfect setup for lurking silently in murky water, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Crocodiles with their V-shaped snouts have heads that look sleeker and more triangular. Their eyes are positioned slightly differently, giving them a sharper, more streamlined look. This subtle difference might not stand out as much as the snout or teeth, but when you combine it with the other traits, it's another piece of the puzzle that helps you identify which reptile you're looking at. Now that we know how to tell them apart physically, 
Let's talk about where crocodiles and alligators live, because their habits are another major clue. Alligators stick to freshwater environments. In the southeastern United States, especially Florida and Louisiana, they thrive in swamps, rivers, lakes, and ponds. With over 1.3 million alligators in Florida alone, they've become an iconic part of the region's wetlands. Outside the US, there's the Chinese alligator, a much smaller and critically endangered species found only in a small part of eastern China, near the Yangtze River. Crocodiles, on the other hand, are more widespread and versatile. They live across Africa, Australia, Southeast Asia, and parts of the Americas. Unlike alligators, crocodiles can tolerate salt water thanks to glands that allow them to excrete salt. This lets them thrive in a wider range of habitats, including coastal areas, mangroves, and even the open ocean. For example, the saltwater crocodile, the largest living reptile, can swim for miles in the sea. While American crocodiles stick to brackish waters in Central America, Northern South America, and the southern tip of Florida. Interestingly, Florida is the only place in the world where alligators and crocodiles coexist. Even here, they don't often overlap. Alligators dominate freshwater swamps and rivers, while crocodiles stick to coastal, saltier areas. Now that we've looked at their appearance and habitats, let's get into how crocodiles and alligators behave because while they seem similar, their attitudes are very different. The first big difference is aggression. Crocodiles are much more aggressive than alligators. Species like the saltwater crocodile in Australia or the Nile crocodile in Africa are notorious for attacking anything that gets too close, humans included. Nile crocodiles alone are responsible for hundreds of attacks every year, making them one of Africa's deadliest animals. Alligators, on the other hand, are generally more shy and reserved. They're more likely to avoid humans and retreat into the water unless they feel threatened or are guarding their nests. That said, they're still dangerous predators and can be aggressive if provoked, especially during mating season. When it comes to hunting, both are ambush predators, gliding silently through the water before striking with explosive force. However, crocodiles tend to be more opportunistic and adaptable. They'll hunt in freshwater, brackish, and even saltwater environments, going after everything from fish to massive prey like water buffalo or sharks. Alligators stick more to their freshwater habitats and often target smaller prey like fish, turtles, and small mammals, though large alligators have been known to take down deer. Social behavior is another key difference. Alligators are a bit more social and can often be seen basking in groups, especially when warming up in the sun. Crocodiles, on the other hand, are far more territorial and solitary. They don't like sharing space and are quick to fight over food, territory, or mates. Crocodiles and alligators have been fascinating and terrifying humans for centuries, so it's no surprise they show up everywhere in pop culture. But here's the thing. Movies, cartoons, and even news stories often blur the lines between the two, adding to the confusion. Let's start with Hollywood. How many times have you seen a massive crocodile in a swamp when it's clearly supposed to be an alligator? In movies set in Florida or Louisiana, alligators are the logical choice. But directors often call them crocodiles because, let's be honest, crocodile sounds more menacing. Then there's the language problem. People often use the word crocodile as a catch-all for any large reptile whether it's a crocodile, an alligator, or even a caiman. Pop culture also tends to exaggerate their behavior. Crocodiles are often portrayed as mindless monsters lurking in jungles, waiting to snap at anything that moves. While crocodiles can be aggressive and dangerous, they're not out to get humans for sport. Similarly, alligators often get shown as lazy and harmless, which isn't true either. They're still wild animals, and they're more than capable of defending themselves. So, there you have it, the key differences between crocodiles and alligators, from their snouts and teeth to where they live and how they behave. These two incredible reptiles are unique in their own ways. Next time you see one of these giants in a swamp, on TV, or even in a movie, you'll know exactly how to tell them apart. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching, 
See you next time.